Hi everyone, this is Ricky with Romero Cards, and I'm actually here today to show you what you can use instead of a Distress Glaze that um, has come out for these ox Distress Oxide inks for um, glossy paper. So, in my previous video, you saw me make a background using these products or similar colors to these products. And then you saw me use glossy card stock to make these. So as you can see, they're pretty chalky. You can see a little bit of shine, but they've mostly dulled out, right? So, and here's the other one. I use the exact same colors here to do the comparison between the two so that you could see that there's really not much of a difference between the Distress Glaze and the product I'm gonna tell you about. So the first thing we'll do is we'll just use the Distressed Glaze first. Let's see if I can get... So this retails for $9. I paid $9 for this. This little piece of material here. So basically what you do is you take the product along with the sponge dauber, dauber. You just touch it just a little bit, not a lot. And what you do is you rub it across your project. And what I'll do is I'll just do half of it so that you can see the difference between the two. So there you go. You can see one side is shiny now and the one side is still pretty dull, right? See that? That is a line there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and complete this. Do it all over the whole part of the project. And I'll probably use these in a later project, but I wanted to show you guys this. Basically what happened is I was talking with my friend Melinda and I was telling her about the product and how it worked and I was explaining to her the consistency and how it works. Oh, so here you just buff this out with a dry cloth and then that's your final product. It's shiny, it's water sealed, so you can't get any water on it and won't damage it. So as I was talking with her and telling her how this feels, because it kind of feels like wax, but it kind of melts when you touch it. We were talking, she said, well, it kind of reminds me of coconut oil. And I was like, oh, that's genius. Maybe this is something we can look into. So this is the other piece of cardstock. You can see it's pretty dull, the way it's supposed to look um, with this product. So basically, we're gonna use some coconut oil to try to get this to work. The same thing, just gonna use this fancy paper towel here. And we're just gonna get a little, just the smallest amount of coconut oil here on this. And what we're gonna do, let me zoom in here. That may be better for you guys. I'm gonna take the coconut oil, put it on this project. I'm gonna do half of it and then show you and then finish the rest. So basically, the coconut oil, that's on half. If you can see, it's shiny, dull on one side. So if we go ahead and finish this up, spread this around. Again, it only takes a small amount to do this with. We got that on there. We're gonna buff it out with a dry paper or a dry towel. You could probably use the paper towel too, but. And then here you go. That's the final product. Using the coconut oil, this may cost like $4 or something. I can't remember how much this cost. I've had it for a long time, but it works. I'm really surprised. So this is kind of like a hack for you guys you don't want to spend nine dollars on this which i'm now mad that i spent nine dollars on this product you know now you can use it with this cheap product and then if you have a, a friend could give you a scoop of this and it would last forever but so here they are the two compared they look exactly the same so i hope you guys find this useful and i hope that uh you know share the word with your friends because this is it's crazy um, you know, like my videos. I hope you enjoy this video along with my other videos. 
Um, I really, I'm really like crafting and I want to get my uh, viewership up on YouTube. So I hope you guys have a great week. I will talk to you later and have a great week. Bye.